in this video, I wanted to do a kind of a new little uh, video series on the air raid offense. This is going to talk about the two back air raid. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because from this formation or from this package, you can kind of get to a lot of your different concepts like tray open, trip set in, bunch, tight, all these different things. They kind of stem out of this one basic formation. So I wanted to do kind of a video series on some routes from this, and then we're going to kind of carry this over into several future videos on different uh, different types of packages, different types of things that you could that you can do uh, to, to kind of imitate some of this stuff out of whatever offense that you're running. So I hope you really enjoy this series. Um, I think this is going to be very, uh, I think this is just going to be very good uh, to talk about and just kind of some basic ideas of understanding how, you know, kind of the nuts and bolts of how offense actually works. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And if you're looking to take your game to the next level, you want to learn my entire Arizona Air Raid offense, or like I said, if you're just looking to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon, you're not only getting access to the Air Raid ebook, you're going to get access to every Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebook that I have released so far this year, uh, which is, I think we're at 13 and we've got more on the way. So if you want to learn all of those concepts for just 10 bucks a month by joining the Patreon, you can get all of that. There's a link in the description below. It's by far the best deal that I have on my website, on my channel. Uh, I really think that you're going to get a lot out of that Patreon. That being said, um, today I'm going to talk about my favorite concept in Madden, and that is the mesh uh, post. I think that the mesh post is my favorite concept in football. It's my favorite concept in Madden. And again, when I say the split slot, um, I want to I want to first uh, come out in a basic play, and then we're going to talk about mesh post in just a second. So uh, to, to do this, I'm just going to come out in uh, PA flood, and this is another one of my favorite little plays. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to move the ball back. Now I want to show you why the gun two back is one of the most underrated formations in Madden 22. Um, so if I were to, and, the, and also kind of the foundational formation for every, any, any and everything we're gonna do from off, uh, offensively. So if we take a look at this gun two back, what I wanna show you is some different motions, okay? So the first motion would be to motion James Conner out. Now, if you look at this, that would basically be Y trips. Right, gun Y trips, if you will. And then I could run trips concepts like this. This is a trips concept, a flood concept with a backside post. And it's a good play. It's a money play. Like we could end the video right there. Right? Great concept. Um, the same thing can be true of if I motion the running back to the left now. Now what am I in? Well, now I'm in a double set. And again, we can basically do the same thing. We can run a flooding concept and hit the sail right hit the, hit the boats the cool part is you could do that with this other running back too so i can motion this guy to the right and you're going to notice now he actually goes into the slot and now i have a little bit more of a quads right now i have a quad set and we can run a concept out of that right and then the last thing that i want to show from a motion pers well a couple things another thing i want to show is this i can motion the running back to the left and now I have a two by two spread. This is basically, for all lack of, for all intensive purposes, two by two spread uh, to the field. And as you can see, we could run two by two spread concepts. So the point of this is to say, the motion can help create different formations, and everything stems from two back, at least in the air raid. Okay, everything stems from two back. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into the concept. So what is mesh? Well, mesh is actually originally called 92. Um, and because, and the reason why is because the, the mesh, when you, when you say mesh, most people say, well, I want to read the mesh routes, which the mesh routes are the two drags. But that's not actually the primary read on the play. The primary read on the play was actually always the post. That's why if you look at the highlight, it's actually highlighted red, and then if you go to the mesh play, it's highlighted red again. So I'm going to talk about mesh and mesh post and why they're so good. So what I like to do, really, I mean, and you could do it a couple different ways, but let's say they're in cover four, okay? This mesh post, the post is the primary route on the play. 
And then what we're going to do is our first read, really what this is designed to be, if you really just kind of think about it a second, the air raid, all of the air raid really hinges on two primary read concepts. The first one is the four verticals. Okay. So how do I do, how would I run four verticals out of something like this? Well, what I could do is I could do this. And that's four verticals. Or I could motion this guy out and create it like this. Or let's say I wanted to do something else. I could go to a um, like a PA slide. Eh, not a great example, but it could still basically sir, it actually it could work. I could do this where I swap replace the four vertical side with a wheel pose concept. And then on the back side, I've got two vertical, and then I can go with my in route or my option route as a check down. So you see that I can create kind of these, again, one of two things, right? I can either create an all out vertical attack where we're stretching the field vertical, or I could go with a mesh post where now what we're doing is we're stretching and stressing the defense horizontally. Okay, that's where I say all of the air raid hinges on those two primary concepts, four verticals and mesh. Okay, um, so how mummy, the guy that would most people would say how mummy created the air raid, actually, he uh, he kind of did, but he kind of took it uh, from BYU, I believe, um, back in the day. But, anyways, um, the point is his favorite concept is mesh. By far his favorite play um, for many reasons but I think because it's a safe concept and it's a concept that's actually really simple okay so how do we want to read this play well what we want to do here is we want to read it from one to two so our first read is going to be our post our second read is going to be our back and then our third read is going to be met the two meshing routes as a whole we're going to look to both of them at the same time and then lastly, we're gonna to look to the backside back. So what I like to do on this play, um, I don't I don't think it makes a lot of sense to put Edmonds on a wheel because I feel like it's not gonna work with how we wanna run this. What I would rather do is put him on a check release, okay? So now it's a little bit cleaner of a read. And really, if you look at this other play, Mesh, they're both on swing routes, right? They're both on swing routes, okay? So, and I'm an Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook, by the way. So I check release here. So now if I, if, again, from a progressional perspective, I'm going number one is the post. That's my best player. Number two is the flat. And then number three is the mesh. So one to two to three. I could throw the post. I threw it a little bit too uh, late or a little bit too early. And what you'll see a lot is you're going to get a lot of a basically a high-low strain between the mesh and the post. That's basically what we're gonna get. And that was cover four. Let me show you cover three. So this is middle field close. If you see this, actually it probably would work a little bit better if we ran this to the, the corner route. Why would we wanna run the corner route? Well, because it's just a quick out and we've just outflanked them to the outside. As you can see right there, very difficult to guard that if the middle of the field is truly uh, closed. However, what, another thing that we'll get a lot is we'll get this Mike Blitz 3 where we've got, you know, kind of double flats, if you will. Well, this is where Mesh Post really shines because it gets underneath the deep blue. And if there's no yellow zone in the middle of the field, we don't even have to worry about it. We can just immediately throw it. Now, that doesn't mean there's not going to be anybody in the middle of the field. I would be foolish to tell you just throw the post route against Mike Blitz 3 because they're going to use it. So you get something like this. This is probably my favorite play in the game for Mike Woods 3. Why? Because now both of these little mesh routes are wide open. They're wide open in this concept. And then if you wanted to beat man, um, this gun two back, I think gun two back is one of the best man beating formations in the game uh, because you have two receivers that can't get jammed. But now take a look. These mesh routes are going to turn into drags and they're just going to run across the formation, and they're always a pretty decent check down against man. So now if I'm used, let's say I'm in the middle of the field here, a good concept would be something like this, right? But now this is where these backs um, can really start to work, work well together um, as well. But let's say you've got this. Well, they're using your post, but now look, your wheel out of the backfield 
could be potentially open. I didn't get it there, but it, it could be uh, potentially open. If I had a little bit of a faster running back there, that might have been open. Now, another easy way um, to kind of get around this would be again to go to some, you know, go to a little bit more of a vertical uh, attack or or whatever. If you really are, if they're going to really sell out to stop mesh, then don't run mesh, right? But but typically, what you're going to get here, and 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 another little way you could run this is just do double outs, just do double outs here, boom boom. And there's just so many things meshing underneath. The user might get stuck, and now your post has had the opportunity to run open. The basic theory in football is you want to run against man and you want to sit against zone, right? That's basically what mesh is, if you think about it. And that's why it's probably one of the best plays in, in all of football, right? Because if you think about it, something like this right here, I mean, look how good this play is once the, if the if the actual, if they're in zone. And again, I'm throwing, I'm throwing a little late, but you see how good the concept is in zone. There's so many things we can do to manipulate zone coverage, regardless of the zone, by the way. Um, really where mesh is going to struggle the most is with a coverage like this right here where you've got uh, two hard flats and all that. Um, but what you should get is you should get this little wheel. That's why this wheel here, um, the, the, what a triangle, what you might want to do is say, okay, well, we're going to run the mesh. And, and if you think about it, you got to think all these concepts out because spacing, all of that stuff plays a very pivotal role in how this is all going to work together. But anyways, let's say they're running Mike at zero. Well, now I know that I've got my running back isolated in man. There's no safety help over the top. So I could potentially try to hit this wheel against uh, against that man coverage, right? Something like that if I wanted to. Again, obviously the Patriots have significant advantage in man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, but the other thing that I want to show, one last thing on the, on the man coverage deal is how you can easily, um, you could, if you know it's man, if you know it's man, then what I, my recommendation um, would be to do something like take green and put him on a fade, right? Or if you wanted to leave him on a flat and then use the running back in route. Now you still have the same basic idea of these meshing, but I'm telling you now you're going to get a little bit more consistency. So from this one little piece, we can basically create all of our concepts. Um, for example, I could do this out of any play. Um, I could go to PA slide, for example, and I could run mesh and it would look like this, right? Maybe something like this, actually. Um, what I would probably recommend would be something like that. But, you know, you're getting this, right? Now, when I motion the back out, now look what I've got. Now I've created it like this or, you know, for something like that, right? So we're creating the same concept uh, from completely different formations, uh, but it's the same basic thing, okay? So that's what I wanted to kind of hit on in this video. If you enjoyed this, um, leave a like. Let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know too. Uh, we'll try to do something a little bit different. But uh, just experimenting, wanted to try some of these videos. I really enjoy breaking these concepts down. Again, I can't stress to you how good this post route really is, though. If they're in Mike Blitz 3 and they get stuck underneath, um, and that's what makes this offense so good is, you know, you get in situations like that. And if you're worried about man to man, and again, like the likelihood of you getting this, you have to remember their user is going to have to guard something. Now, if he's going to really lock in on the post, which he probably will, you just need one drag to get open. And you see how they just kind of run into each other. A lot of times you're going to get stuff like this. If they try to really go to a coverage like that, you're going to get a bump. That's why mesh is so good because it's they're running everybody's running into each other on this play. So you're going to get a lot of natural picks and rubs. Then they're going to go to cover three where they're just going to sit down in the zone, cover four, sit down in the zone. Um, the, really the best defense, I think, for mesh is a good, and I mean a good user, uh, cover two because these vert hooks, um, they should take them away, but then you can kind of play make them open and then just take your take your easy yardage. So I love the mesh play. I think I, I hope you do too. And this was just a baseline understanding of this two back stuff. And again, we're gonna we're gonna show how we can go from two back to spread to trips to whatever. We can do all of that out of this formation, which I think is awesome. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn the full air raid offense, there's a link in the description where you can go join the Patreon where you'll be able to get all access to all of my ebooks. 
So if you're, uh, if you're looking to get better, head on down to the description below and check out that Patreon membership.